so in our today's lecture we'll try to understand about the oracle database architecture so what is architecture so whenever you are going for an any new technology first of all we should understand the architecture correct so in the oracle database architecture there are three components are there which are playing a very very important role what is the first component so basically we will have the first component which is playing a very important role we called it as a memory correct second important component will be your we called it as a cpu and third component will be your third component component will be your storage correct now if you try to understand that whenever you are going for let's say you want to purchase a new laptop correct you are going to see all these three things into that laptop right so what is the memory of laptop what is the cpu of that laptop how much storage is available what is the purpose of memory the purpose of memory is for what is the purpose of memory okay let's start from the storage what is the purpose of storage to store a data so whenever database want to store a data it is going to use a storage and that will be in the part of let's say hard disk correct we have a hard disk is there we have ssds are there correct so whenever i want to store my database related files so we have a database related files like can you tell me some of the database related files like data files control files parameter files and then we have password files whenever i want to store all these files what i need i need storage what is the purpose of cpu to process something to process what we are going to process data, data. data. let's take a example there is a user one he got connected to the database and he is firing a select command he is firing a select command like he is firing a command like select star from table name so what he want to do he want to select a data from the table so this is called processing so who will do this processing the processing will be taken care by the cpu correct but when he is doing a processing he needs some temporary storage he needs some temporary storage so what he is going to use that temporary storage memory but any data which is available inside the memory is it permanent no so let's take a example when you have some data available inside this memory correct and after that your database got restarted or your server got shut down and get restarted do you think that the data will be available in memory no the data will not be available in memory but where the data will be available as a permanent storage in storage so this is like your temporary area correct and this is my permanent area permanent area correct permanent storage correct so we got to know about the three important component of oracle database architecture which is called memory cpu and storage now when you say that okay boss i have allocated some 100 gb of memory to my database correct so when you say that i have allocated 100 gb of memory to my database the terminology in the database we called it as a sga we are calling it as a sga sga means the memory that you have allocated to your oracle database and number of cpu and the storage part the storage is the one where my database will be available actually where my database will be available so in the next lecture we'll talk about how this memory or we called it as a this there is a one terminology is called instance also database instance how this instance and database are connected to each other that we are going to see in next lecture but till now whatever we have discussed are you able to understand yes clear so whenever you are thinking that i want to install new database there are three component you need to take care memory 
CPU storage. If you have a good amount of memory, your database performance will be good. If your CPU is high, like when you're purchasing a laptop, if you have i7 processor, obviously your performance will be better compared to the i3 or dual core. And storage, it is just for the how much data you want to store. In future, if you want to increase the storage, you can definitely increase that. If you want to increase the memory of your database, definitely you can increase that. Okay, it's possible. Fine. Those people who are watching me from the YouTube channel, if you want to subscribe us, definitely you can subscribe us. And if you're looking for real-time Oracle DBA training online and offline, offline we have available in Pune location. Please do like, subscribe and share to our channel. Thanks.